Fendrana Drifts is an amazing locale inside of Metroid Prime. Its icy crystals and frosty atmosphere is extremely cool, so let's take a look at what we couldn't miss inside of Fendrana Drifts. Instantly after arrival to the drifts, we run into a terminal within one of Fendrana's waterways that controls the lock and the door above. The placement of this terminal is very curious, but with a little bit of interpretation, this can be understood. While obviously Fendrana is currently in its winter months, when summer rolled around back during the Chozo's rule, many Chozo would swim in the Fendrana waterways for leisure. However, due to the strong currents, many would get stuck in this tunnel, leading to many deaths and close calls. The Chozo, distraught by this, decided to put this locking mechanism here not necessarily to lock the door, but to use this lock as Morse code, notifying those above you you were stuck. Though, with how the door was left locked, we can only assume the last Chozo that was stuck here was never rescued. Baby Shegoths are the star of the show in Fendrana Drifts, with their adaptability to the environment and unique fighting style allowing them to top the food chain in the drifts. Though, one oddity is that while we do see Shegoths, we never run into any Hegoths, which leads us to one conclusion. Similarly to how on Earth female Black Widows will eat their mates, Shegoths, after mating with Hegoths, occasionally also engage with this practice, which explains why Hegoths are so rare and why we never encounter one during our exploration of Fendrana. The cool nature of Fendrana doesn't only extend to its temperature, because this is where we also receive the Boost Ball. The Boost Ball is a prime exclusive upgrade to the Various Suit, and comparatively to the other upgrades we receive, is the cream of the crop when it comes to traversing the game with speed. Though unfortunately, a major feature of this upgrade was cut late into development. While the usage of the Boost and Half Pipes are simply to gain height, originally you would be able to do Boost Ball tricks and combos in unison with gaining height, making this upgrade a perfect trifecta. However, due to internal disputes, this feature was left out. We all know crystallite shells are generated by their perspiration freezing, but did you know that if they stand still and don't flip upside down every once in a while, their legs will freeze over and they will be rendered immovable. Wait, Ridley crop dusted Fendrana? Adult Shegoths comparatively to baby Shegoths are massive and live up to their adult status, gaining energy absorbing ice on their back, clearly separating them from their youth. Though what many don't know about adult Shegoths is that every time they absorb and shoot out stored energy, they also lose a small amount of calories. Meaning that if a player has the patience, they can defeat the Shegoth in an alternate manner, slowly draining the Shegoth of all their body mass, leaving them in a shriveled and emaciated state. And what other weapon upgrade would the Shegoth be guarding other than the Wave Beam? The Wave Beam is actually the most unique beam Samus gets because it actually waves goodbye to you as it exits her barrel. Everyone remembers the feeling of getting the thermal visor for the first time, followed by the power outage in the pirate research facility. Though, with how iconic this moment is, it's odd no one has explained how this outage occurred. All that happened was the pirates, similarly to their harnessing of geothermal energy in Magmore Caverns, attempted to do the same here but with ice instead of lava. But instead of retooling their tech to utilize the ice, they used their lava systems here assuming it was working since the power was still on, forgetting that they had backup batteries that kept the facility on until now ever since this blunder. The final boss of Indrana is Thardis, a hot piece of asphalt that is gunning for Samus. Though the difference between Thardis and an ordinary rock is their control over gravity and magnetism, which brings up the philosophy of Thardis. This boss is simply here to prepare the player for those new concepts with magnetism alluding to the spider ball he directly guards and gravity from the gravity suit he guards indirectly. While none of Thardis' attacks draw a perfect comparison to these two upgrades, besides the rolling move, the absurdism Thardis brings to these two facets with him defying gravity and using magnetism to keep their body together allows the player to not question the odd abilities these future upgrades give because their ill logic is nothing compared to Thardis. And that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do.